Hi everyone, Anissa Coy here with Firehouse Education and Mobile Clean. And I actually was um, sent an email the other day and asked a really great question about books. And not just any books, but old antique books or books that are like close to 100 years old. So I want to do a video about that. Um, because we do treat those a little bit different than just everyday ordinary books and I happen to come across one on this job that I'm on right now so I want to show this to you this is actually um, an alumni directory and it's from 1891 to 1911 really really awesome so the first thing that I'm gonna do Matt can you have me some gloves on I'm actually gonna put some gloves on my hands before I handle this any further because I don't want the oils on my hands to get on the actual um, pages of the book. Thank you, Matt. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, do a few processes to clean hair. Now, this book, it doesn't matter whether it's heavily sooted or not. This is just a very light soot situation. Um, so, what we're gonna do is we're going to HEPA vacuum it off, um, starting with the top of the book, generally. That's usually where books are stored like this, so this is usually where the worst dirt is and so that you'll find so we have a vacuum very carefully the entire book on the outside and then we open the book and have a vacuum these uh, main areas on the inside of the cover and the back cover now rarely have I ever had to actually vacuum every single page inside because usually when a book is sitting closed things don't smoke as it doesn't get down on the inside of the book it just rests on the outside but we often do find that just on the inside of the front and back covers that it will get smoke and soot here so we do vacuum that as well now this book by the way has already been cleaned that's why I'm handling it like this or I wouldn't even be handling it this much uh, with the papers so now that after it's HEPA vacuumed I take the dry cleaning sponge okay and this is what I use to clean the book and I'm gonna do the same process as I did on my other book and using the chem sponge to wipe along the edges of my book and then across the front my binding and then I'm going to flip it over and do the same and then on the inside switching my spot on the chem sponge to make sure that I'm always clean I'm going to rub the chem sponge across every single inch of this book now the chem sponge is just amazing and I one time got to sit down with Cliff Zlotnick in Las Vegas and we were talking about how the chem sponge works and, and how to properly use them and that sort of thing and whether or not you can clean them. Some people say you can clean them, I don't. But um, you can shave off the dirty parts and use other surfaces but you wanna make sure that your chem sponge area that you're using is very, very clean. Otherwise, if this were you know dirty with black um, smoke and soot and I rubbed it on this book, I, I'm not doing any good and I could actually transfer things onto the book. So when I'm doing this, I'm not only cleaning the book, but it actually pulls the smoke and soot and odor up into the sponge and will deodorize at the same time. It's really, really great. Okay, so now after I've done that, um, the thing that we're, that's so different with a book that is older versus an everyday book is that these pages can be very brittle, very delicate. Depending on the writing that's on the page, you can actually remove the writing you know a hundred years ago they printed books differently they use different ink not like we have today okay um, so you want to be extremely careful when you're handling books like this um, if you do have some staining and and soot on say the edges is where we'll commonly see them inside pages you can use what's called a a gummy racer. I get this gummy racer at a artist supply store is actually where I get these and um, um, uh, we can use this to erase um, very carefully you know stains like on the edge here of the book but again you want to be really careful you can also use this gummy racer on certain art pieces and family photos but you want to be very careful I would not rub this gummy racer across this ink here because I would be afraid it would re actually remove the ink all right but it can go a long way in removing damage you know staining from these these beautiful older pages you can also use this gummy racer on your binding as well or the the front cover outer edges I've even used this gummy racer if I have really bad staining which there seems to be a little bit of staining right here 
you can actually use the gum eraser to erase staining on the top of the book. Now I would take um, some air and spray that with air compressor and maybe do some rehab of vacuum. But look, look at that's coming off right there. It's actually, I'm not sure if you can get a very good picture there. See how I was able to remove a lot of that? So this obviously is a very time consuming process with something like this. But what you want to remember and think about is that if this book is a hundred years old, a couple of things. One, it can have a huge monetary value. The other thing is, is that this is, is I must, I believe this is an alumni book for her father when he was in high school. And so, or maybe her grandfather. It was a while ago, hundred years ago. Yeah, it's probably grandfather. Um, so this has a lot of sentimental value to someone, even if it doesn't have a monetary value. So these are the kind of items that we spend extra time on to really try to work on and, and salvage and get back to pre-loss condition as best we can. The other thing is if this has a really high monetary value, there are uh, places where you can send that they deal with older books that are like a hundred years old or more and they actually have some web processes, believe it or not, that they use on these um, items. Um, the I belong to the Heritage Preservation Society out of Chicago, Illinois. And they do some incredible things and have a big network and resource on their website. If you ever come across someone or if you have a need to uh, do some restoration work on a very old book. So I hope this video has helped you. Um, and for that person who asked the question uh, to email to me, I hope this has really given you some good information that you can use. And I will... Um, be, I, I'm available if you want to email me if you have other questions. My email is anissa, A-N-N-I-S-S-A, -S -S -A, at firehouseeducation.com. And you can also um, certainly comment here on the below the video. That would be really great if you have any other questions. And I can answer them for you. Or if this video helped you out, you found some value in it. Or if you have other information about you uh, doing restoration work on older books, I would appreciate you sharing it. That would be great. Thanks. Till next time.